My Duncan is so good today, you guys. It is a cold foam, cold brew, medium, with chocolate caramel swirl. It's really good. Let's do a full face of viral, trendy, new makeup. I'm excited. A lot of this I purchased myself because I cannot be stopped when it comes to TikTok. And if I see a product like three or four times, different people talking about it, it's like it sticks in the back of my mind and I can't let it go until it's mine. And I know it's unhealthy, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's a hot day here in upstate New York. I do have my air ready to go if I need it. If it's annoying at some point in this video, I'm very sorry. But if you know me, if you've been here, you know how it is. Occasionally in the spring and summer, you're going to have a little rumble in the background because I cannot deal with the heat. I am a little bit self-tanned. I use the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark Aero Foam for my body, and I use the Tanceuticals Face Self-Tanner Lotion for my face, if you guys are wondering. Those two are like a tried and true combo for me. First things first, primer. This is no secret, but this niacinamide e.l.f. primer has the internet in a chokehold. It is like the pinky version of the regular power grip and it just has niacinamide in it. And honestly, I have not seen like a huge difference between the two, but I'm bouncing between the two currently. But I do love a gripping primer and I have to let it set on my face for a little while. Otherwise, it might not blend well with other products that I'm gonna use. So we are going in first with my little Air Kabuki from Sigma. I get a lot of questions on my duo fiber brushes. This is the one I use for gripping primer. My personal goal for this makeup look is gonna be something bronzy and dewy because I don't know. I just wanna look bronzy and dewy. I self-tanned and normally I feel like best about myself. I know it's awful, but I feel best about myself when I'm self-tanned and bronzy and my makeup looks good. So that's what we're going for. If you guys are new here and you don't know me, just for reference, I do have dry skin. I'm tempted to say very dry skin, but I'm lucky in that I'm not like getting flaky dryness. It's just like a tight, I need water kind of dryness right now anyways. I'm gonna let that continue to set and move on to brows. This, I personally chose this as a viral brow product because I thought I had that NYX tinted glue brow gel, but I don't. I have the Thicket Stick It brow gel and it's not the same thing. So I don't wanna use that because I already know it's like not my favorite, but I was influenced to buy the Air Brow from Kosas and I feel like this is equally as viral or it was, like it had its 15 minutes of TikTok fame and it's fairly new to me. So this is the one I'm going to apply and mine is in the shade brown black. I don't do anything to my brows except for pluck them and occasionally trim them when they're mega out of control. So they are living their full life right now. Like I don't need to do a whole lot of penciling right now. I do like the color of this. I like the small little brush. I did get a little bit of it on my forehead, on my face. This stuff is nice though because it's not crusty. There's nothing I hate more than a crusty brow gel. I think they look fine. I don't know. Did that make, I feel like I can see myself in the viewfinder and I feel like it made a difference. Like it made them match my hair more. Moment of truth. I don't know if this is gonna mesh well with the gripping primer, but this is another viral primer-esque product and this is the Sun Touchable SPF 30 e.l.f. skin woe glow like so many names here in Sunbeam and this is the viral super goop glow screen dupe and come on now like I love super goop I love the glow screen but when mine's gone, I don't know if I'm really gonna repurchase another one. It does have a higher SPF, I will give it that. I'm pretty sure Glow Screen has SPF 40. And my skin does love Glow Screen, but like if you can get it for $10 at the drugstore, e.l.f. is duping everything, everything under the sun. We're gonna add this to my face just for sun protection. It is crazy sunny right now, and I don't know what I'm doing with my day today. Unfortunately, I think I just need to go grocery shopping and that's so boring, but I am wearing sunscreen every single day. We are gonna glowify my face into another dimension today because these are not the only glowy products. There are more. So I like to kind of warm this up in my hands first and you really should apply sunscreen all over your face, but I'm going high points because this is where the sun mostly hits me and we are glowifying. Patting this in because I don't want to disturb the gripping primer. And we'll see just how glowy 
we can get. I'm gonna do eyes last just because I really love the viral face makeup that I have. So I am going to go in with none other than the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. Mine is in the shade 4C. So I'm not gonna do a lot just because I have been really embracing my skin lately and we are going in on the face products today. So I don't wanna have like 10 layers. We are gonna have 10 layers though, but I don't want it to be like too crazy. So just this amount for now, I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty 106 brush. This brush I've been using for everything lately. My skin is beaming on the back of my hand. This is my like pick up my products hand and I'm gonna be honest with you, it looks better than my other hand. Like the wrinkliness and just the hydration and everything cause I'll put skincare on this hand and then pick it up and put it on my face. I need to give some love to my other hand. I'm going to start by just like dispersing this evenly all over my face. When using a gripping primer, I like to do patting motions before any swiping motions because I like to push the product in. I am a brush girly. I like how my face looks when I use a sponge. Nine times out of 10, I am too lazy to use a sponge. Literally, I don't wanna get up and go get it wet and then clean it after and whatever. <laughs> I've been so happy these past few days, like waking up and hearing birds outside. It feels, I know it wasn't so much of a harsh winter this year, it really wasn't, but it feels like it just took so long. Maybe it's just me, but I'm just so glad. Bringing this down my neck a little bit and trying to hit the perimeter, cause I always do the inside of my face first, but I do have a bigger face. So like sometimes I'll forget the outer parts of my cheeks and I'll be like why can you see my breakouts over here so giving them a little extra love I know that this is somewhat controversial but when used properly I really really love this foundation I'm very very glad that I purchased it this next product I don't have a lot of experience with this is the NYX bear with me concealer serum and if I'm not mistaken this was Bethany Frankel's like best concealer ever right it was this right I think so I don't know. Regardless, it did go viral and mine, I don't know if it's in the right shade for me or not. I purchased this not too long ago. I think I used it once or twice. It's in the shade vanilla. I'm going to pump some on the back of my hand, which I do appreciate that it's in a pump for sure. I feel like right now because I'm self tanned, it might be okay under the eyes. I don't have a little brush in front of me and I don't feel like getting up. So I am gonna put this on with my finger. I'm gonna do a little pressing under the eyes and I'll finish the blending with the same BK Beauty brush. I haven't really developed an opinion on this concealer yet, but a lot of people love it. I'm using it for all my like brightening areas and I'm not really I'm not really gonna cover my breakouts today. And I'm not like really breaking out. I'm not actively breaking out, but I do have a lot of like leftover breakout spots. They're flat, but they're there. I'm just gonna do the same thing and press this concealer in with the brush. It looks mega hydrating under my eyes so far. Um, don't know if it's gonna crease or not. Honestly, <laughs> I don't really care. I feel like some level of creasing looks very normal and natural on me at least because I do have little wrinkles underneath my eyes. Is it annoying? Yes. Do I think it looks bad? No, not really. Everything is playing well, surprisingly. I'm Not surprisingly, I mean I've been loving gripping primer for a long time but sometimes things can clash with gripping primer but that's not happening and I'm very glad that it's not because I don't want to scrap this whole video. What viral contour do we want to use today? Because I have three. I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand in the shade Light Medium. I have the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade Light. And I have the Say Sun Melt in a very deep shade Tan Bronze. Let's start with the e.l.f. just because I don't think I have really tried it on YouTube yet. This light medium color is very very good for bronzing without looking orange for me and my skin tone. It's a really good color for me. Same thing we're going to do a padding motion. It blends so easily 
if you were wondering i don't know about the blushes i don't have any of them the contour though is a very easy blend it doesn't leave marks on the face maybe it would though like if you were using a super matte foundation i don't know but for me i've never had it leave the dots that's like a pet peeve of mine especially because i do film a lot of my makeup and so it sits there for a minute maybe longer than if you were just doing your makeup by yourself <laughs> this is a very good color for me but it does blend super naturally it doesn't look like my face to me doesn't look very bronze right now so what are we gonna do we're gonna go into the product that's too dark for me and we're really gonna go hard and i'm not trying to be a peanut butter baby here i hate that i hate that people are using colors that are too like very clearly too dark for them but this product from say the sun melt it does buff away so bear with me i'm gonna do my best to not look like the peanut butter baby i am going to add a little bit more than i did with the elf product you can see like this is darker but it's gonna buff away trust me trust me this is like an all-over bronze i'm really not targeting the upper cheekbone area <laughs> as you can see i don't think i look too crazy i think that you could definitely take this too far i've seen people take it too far i hope i'm not taking it too far we're gonna leave the makeup by mario stick alone i do have one pet peeve with this though every time every time i go to use it i like try to take the cap off and i take the brush cap off every single time without fail this is not a viral product i don't think but i want to do a tiktok on it and it deserves to be a viral product so this is from buxom they have a new summer collection it's their summer babe glow stick in the shade sunlit and i feel like there's no words i could give you to explain how beautiful this is i just need this to be viral let me just put it on the back of my hand i played with it straight out of the package um when i opened it and i had it on the back of my hand and i forgot about it and then later in the day i was out in the sun and i was like that is the most incredible looking shimmer bronzy shimmer ever so i buffed it out do you see that like this i don't even know i need to play around with it a little bit more because i know that it can be super intense and probably on the face that's exactly what it's going to be i kind of want to do like collarbone area we're going to do like the collarbone and chest area and just buff it out and i might end up using this on my cheekbones when we're done with the rest of the face makeup it would look so good like on your shoulders and your collarbone and your cheekbones like it's just please take a look at it. I think it's available in Ulta. Okay, so obviously there were a million blushes I could have chosen from for a viral blush to try in this video. I have been loving the Rare Beauty blushes for so long. Um, there's new House Lab blushes. I don't have those. Um, or House Labs, you know, whatever. There, There's Juvia's Place. I, I don't have those. I couldn't get the one size one, the beautiful pink one. I couldn't get it. But I have seen a lot of people talking about this Tower 28 blush. This is the one in the shade Office Hours. I now have three of these blushes and they are some of my favorites. But I will say you i think you've got to be a dry skin girly to like this blush i could totally be wrong but it's a super dewy formula um so i don't know if you're oily i don't know if you would like it but i like to pick it up with a duo fiber this is a super wearable shade i also have a like hot sunburnt shade and a pinky shade and they're all beautiful but this one is super natural looking this look is going towards a little bit natural like dewy bronze natural i guess i don't know yeah i'm obsessed <laughs> i like a lot of blush so we're going all over the cheekbone and i haven't done my eyes yet so i kind of like go into the eye area i don't like how greasy my eyes look right now <laughs> so i'm just going to go in circles and again same padding motion not a whole lot of dragging going on although i don't think that primer situation <laughs> is not going anywhere so we are nice and set up i like to hit the nose i feel like it makes a big difference when my nose has blush on it like i feel like it just it just changed my face and this color it would look good on anybody but i feel like it does give me a little bit of like oh you do have some sunlight in your face 
These magical gems are from ColourPop, the duo fiber brushes. I was gonna use the Viral Cherry Blossom Cake from Huda Beauty, but let's be real, I am doing a bronze look today, so I don't feel, I've made this mistake many times, I don't feel that pinky powders look good on bronzy faces. So we're gonna try something else. So here is where we're seemingly going to take away the glow, but it will come back. I'm gonna use the same Huda Beauty powder, but I'm gonna use it in the shade Pound Cake. This is my OG favorite shade that I used to use all the time. I don't know if this is viral. I know that some of the shades are viral. Pound Cake is very basic. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Light powder color. I don't know. I'm gonna use a brush from the Kristen Dominique collection from Sigma. By the way, you guys, Sigma I think is having an anniversary sale probably when this video is up. And you can use my code if you want to. It's going to give you that same 40% off that you could get during the sale. And so it would support me if you use my link. You don't have to use it, but it's going to give you that same 40%. So you can get 40% off of all of your favorite brushes, anything. They have amazing makeup. You guys know how I feel about Sigma. These brushes, though, are literally stunning. So I'm going to press very gently underneath my eyes. I don't really have a lot of creasing going on. It's kind of majestic. My chin around my mouth because I sweat around my mouth. And then I think it's so funny. I think about this all the time. It's crazy how like any level of like bullying sticks with you in your life. And when I was really new on YouTube and I had a couple viral videos, everyone was commenting and it was about my camera it was not about me but everybody was commenting saying that I have an eyebrow halo with my concealer but do you see my muscle there <laughs> my muscle sticks out because I have a strong brow bone or whatever so it just looks highlighted because of my muscle so I do still to this day powder my brow bone because I don't want it to look like I have a halo they called it like a halo brow or something um yeah so I'm also gonna powder my eyelids because they're out of control we haven't done them yet but they're out of control and then I do go around my nose because I don't like the section around my nose like it's always very red and it looks bumpy I don't know what that is but I don't put a lot of makeup there because I think it draws attention to it so yeah I powder pretty much the center line of my face Putting my faith in the hands of random TikTok girlies, I picked up the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist on the claim that it's a dupe for my favorite Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. <sighs> Again, I love a cheap dupe. If it ends up being the same quality, I'm going to keep repurchasing this. But the one thing I will say is the sprayer on the Charlotte Tilbury, in my opinion, is better. So would it be, like, horrible <laughs> if I finish my Charlotte Tilbury and then just dump this into it. I couldn't use it on camera because then I'd be lying. <laughs> but I might do that just because I like the mister better on the Charlotte Tilbury. But we are going to spray this and make it last and also bring that dewiness back. It's not a horrible sprayer, but it is not the same in my opinion. It also doesn't smell the same, but it does its job, but it doesn't smell the same. It doesn't spray the same. Unfortunately, viral sometimes means sold out. So for eyeshadow, we're going to be using the Makeup by Mario mattes, master mattes. And my recommendation, if you've been trying to hunt this down, is to go in store and go to a Sephora inside Kohl's because the section is usually smaller and towards the bottom, at least in mine, and I found mine in store, and that's where I purchased this. So don't be mad at me if you can't find it. And this is not gonna be an exciting tutorial. I just dip in to some of the lighter colors first, get rid of the oily looking mess on my eyelids, and I go up the sides a little bit. Then taking a more precise brush, this is the Blending E25 brush. I'm gonna take some bronzy looking browns, some good color browns, and mix it. I'm mixing like three shades. This one, this one, and this one. Tapping off all the excess and then, I don't know, what do I wanna do? We'll just go in the crease. The top of the crease today in like little circular whatever motions. We're not even gonna go down into the outer corner. We're just gonna continue flicking up. Up, 
to the temple. But that's what makes this such an ultimate, like everyday palette for so many people. It's so easy to blend and you just can combine all the shades. You can do a darker look, you can do a lighter everyday look. You can do whatever you want. Part of my Sephora order was the Shiseido eyelash curler. I still don't have it yet. It's on its way. Um, I desperately need it because my old Tarte curler just isn't doing it for me anymore. I'm gonna curl my lashes with my crappy Tarte eyelash curler. Don't judge me. I am probably gonna add falsies, but I do have a, oh! I feel like I grabbed my contact lens with my curler. Um, I do have a somewhat viral mascara that I wanna try. We're trying this guy today for the first time. This is the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. This definitely went viral. I feel like I've seen this everywhere and I've seen like giant promotional tubes of this, right? I'm thinking of the right mascara. Okay, I'm not like super zoomed in or anything, but for me, to have somewhat of a reaction on the first swipe is like mind-blowing. Um, I like the wand. It is definitely lifting my nubs. It's not clumpy. I really like this so far. If it wears good and it comes off good and it doesn't smudge, it's gonna be a new favorite, I think. The mascara looks good, especially if you're going for like a clean look, but I am gonna find like a cute pair of lashes to put on and give the camera a break because <laughs> I've been filming for 48 minutes and um, I'll come back with my air conditioner off for you guys. Okay, I'm back and honestly nothing transforms my face like a good pair of eyelashes. These are obviously not the most natural lashes in the world, but they are my favorite Amazon lashes, which I have already beat into your head a million times by now. They do look really good though. And you guys, I am not a bragger. I don't like to brag, but when I was over in my other makeup corner doing my eyelashes, I was looking at my face and this is one of those days where if I go in public, I know I'm gonna get compliments because everything just looks so cohesive in person and so good and like, I, I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> The routine today was very elite. It's literally right where I want it, so I'm not gonna do too, too much, but I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. This is the powder that I will use to set my whole face when I feel like it. And right now, if I look in the mirror, like I said, the skin looks flawless. I know I'm gonna get compliments, but it might not be the longest lasting because of how dewy it is. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that Charlotte Tilbury and I'm gonna hit the points that your average Joe wouldn't want to be shiny. So we're gonna go right here in a triangle motion we're gonna follow those lines down the side of the face the chin and then up like cupping the cheek and then we're gonna take the tip of the brush in the powder tap off and we're gonna hit where one would have crow's feet i'm not saying i have crow's feet but this gets a little shiny on me and I still would like to add that highlighter, so I can't do that with it being shiny because then it's just gonna be too much. I really like the colors that are coming together too. This is very summer bronze, which makes me want to add a hint of this middle color of the older Patrick Ta palette. We're just gonna take the powder with the same brush that I've been using. Uh, I need to wash my brushes anyways. We're gonna tap off because I don't wanna do too much. And then right over where we already have that pretty blush, I'm just tapping a little bit of this reddish, peachish shade, corally shade, just for a little extra dimension. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hit it with this pretty buxom highlight. I'm just going to put it on the tip of my finger. It's going to look so good on deeper skin tones. It just might be a little too dark for me. So I'm going to hit the cheekbone ever so slightly. Oh my God. It's so pretty. It does have some bigger particles of glitter, but I think it's going to look so good on the body for that reason, mainly as like a body, body glow or body highlight, but I just couldn't not try it. 
I don't want to mess with this too much because I'm just so happy with the way that things are looking and honestly sometimes I just won't do anything on my lips because I'm liking the way that everything looks but I do want to line my lips a little bit today and I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner Lip Cheat Lip Liner and I just got you know sucked into the same realm that everyone else got sucked into i've never owned this before and i it's so expensive you don't need to buy this you can get a cheaper lip liner like literally anywhere but i wanted to have pillow talk in my life so here we are i'm gonna line my upper lip slightly and then the center of the bottom i'm not overlining today i mean me smudging might push it a little bit but I'm not actively overlining it is really pretty if you love a pinky nude it is a pretty color cherry lips are gonna be in for summer and this is not like super super pigmented or dark but I do really love the lawless forget the filler glosses and these have definitely had their viral moment I have the shade cherry vanilla but I do want to explore that cherry trend because I think that uh, burnt, like sunburnt blush is going to be really in. And then along with a nice like cherry colored, but like subtle cherry colored lipstick, like almost like a lip balm or chapstick. Um, I can see it coming. I've seen it all over my Instagram. So I just love a good cherry scented product. I love the smell of this one. So we're just going to apply this gloss and that's pretty much going to be it. This is ever so slightly tinted cherry, but it smells really good. And these have more of like a minty sensation, not a burning stinging sensation. So when you see plumping, these are like minty plumping, not bee sting plumping. I'm gonna hit it one more time with my e.l.f. setting spray. I just don't love the smell of that setting spray. I wish I did. I did have another viral one uh, the Tower 28, I have a mini of it, but I don't trust it enough. It does have a nice mist to it. It's just so new that I didn't trust it enough to use it today. So I'm going to be using this in the spring and summer as well. Uh, let me know if you guys have this, if you like it better than the e.l.f. or the Charlotte Tilbury. I also want to smell good today, so I'm going to throw on some Brazilian Crush Charosa 68 from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Baccarat Rouge... 540 dupe. Oh, it smells so freaking good. I'm going to put it in my hair too. Oh yeah. I feel like we had a very successful full face of makeup today. I'm very pleased with literally everything that I tried. Anything that was a first impression, like the mascara um, and kind of the concealer blew me away, honestly. Everything else is pretty much tried and true and I would recommend everything that I tried today. But that completes this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching and following along. I will leave any links down below as well as discounts that I may have to some of these products. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me. I hope you have the very best day. Take care of yourself. Maybe do a little look good, feel good, or if not, just chill, relax, do some self-care, drink your water. I need to drink my water. And hopefully I I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.